this is Sarah. Today we're gonna do a M&M's experiment. For this experiment, we will use some M&M's, oxygenated water if you if you want, it's not necessary, and some water and four containers. I bumped online into um, an article about M&M mystery. When you melt M&M's, apparently there are these areas of colors that do not mix together, and there is a floating M uh, in in there, so the M of M&M's does not melt. So I wanted to check with Emilia if that is true. What it is interesting is that uh, the color do not mix and they create clear areas where each color uh, are located. One explanation that I found online could be, it could be that uh, they are coated in a wax that makes them shiny. It's not sure though if M&M's have that. I, I couldn't check the label here because I didn't it didn't have a level of ingredients. I use oxygenated water because I was expecting that the colors will uh, fade, like will be less. Mama, if you actually, it turns out that if you wait for a while, the M&Ms will eventually melt, and we agitated them a bit, and they mixed. So maybe they mixed because we agitated them. But previously, I had done this experiment by myself. And they mix anyway. And uh, as for the M, the M uh, does not melt, that's true, it floats around and it seems very weird. But if you actually use warm water or hot water, it, it, the M melts almost straight away. Also in the oxygenated water, I saw some M. One is here, one is floating here. Is in here. Oh, this is melted. In the description box below, you will find some more details about the questions that we had and what we wanted to find out with this experiment and how we set up more specifically. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Ciao.